Welcome to the show. Fire. We're going to watch some baggage. Oh, my God. No. God. What? This guy He's looks nice so much guy. better in five years. Yeah. He's got a secret, and it's hidden inside this red bag. Is I think one dirty? of them is going to... Oh, you were going to pause, too? What were you going to say? Shaky hand. What were you going to say? I think this guy's going to try to shtick us pretty hard. You do? I think he's coming oh, in. Oh, I'm a funny guy? Yeah. I, I think one of his baggage... I'm just the guy looking for love. I think one of his baggages might be, um, I ate my twin in the womb. My mom jerked Three-year-old <laughs> virgin? Did he secretly max out his girlfriend's credit card? Or does he live in his parents' garage? We'll open up this bag in a whole Best times lot of your life. Coming up on baggage. I don't live there, but I kind of did. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Have two shrinks. What's your baggage? Where singles confess their faults and fears in the hope of finding a new flame. Right now, let's meet don't. our brave dater. He's a camp director Brave? from Twin Peaks, Brave. Minnesota. Please welcome Camp Nate. director from Twin Peaks, Minnesota. Everything lines up, dude. He's going to treat everybody like his kids nice at camp. You. Thank you. I think you were All spot right, on. Nice this dude thinks he's us. a camp comedian. You're from Minnesota. Yep. And uh, what brought you out here? Uh, you know, I had a great job, but I could just see myself 20 years down the road, very comfortable, very safe. And I'm like, I want to take some chances. I want to take some risks. Does that reflect who you're looking for in terms of a date? In Minnesota, you dated kind of, you know, in my, in my past, I've probably dated more with my head. I, I'm interested now in, in maybe letting my heart speak a little more when it comes to matters of love. Oh, well, good. Well, a lot of beautiful women here. We're, I think we're going to be able to help you out. What do you mean? Okay? He's We've taller than you'd think. You know what I was going to say? I think if you were to go to this dude's Instagram account, even at the time of being recorded right. or Facebook, he's normal. And like, I think he wears a hat a lot, maybe a beanie in Minnesota and dresses not like that. Like, I think okay. he feels out of his skin oh, in that okay. outfit. Kind of like me. If I had to like okay. when I'm at Yes Network and I'm like, this isn't how I normally look. I could see that. Uh, and he's a little squirmish. Right, he's a camp counselor. He's a camp Works counselor. Outside. Like, yeah. Be fabulous. I'm ladies. starting to Thank like him. Yeah. Great match for you. Uh, but like all of us, they've got some bad. He's going to have one line that's super off-putting. Oh, like, like. Like crazy. Like bondage. Like you haven't talked to people. Yeah, okay. Excited now? Ready oh. to go? Uh, am I excited? Is this is how a Minnesota that's person is excited? Yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's meet him. I like She's that. She's a yeah. teacher all Subtle. the way from Sydney, Australia. Please Ooh. say good day to Laura. Sydney. Good day. Smile. Stuck on. Okay, he's into that. All right. Hi, Nate. I hope you like smart women. Oh. That's exactly what you're going to get with me. I teach English, maths, and science. And I've traveled the world over. But the she could be like a robot. Do we bring in Peter? Just the way she's kind of talking and looking, it could be like an animation at a mall. Like, welcome to ShopRite. A little bit. It felt like she felt like she had to lean into the Aussie accent. Yeah. Like, if yeah. I was I would was debating calling Moyle and be like, it feels like she's turning it she, on. Yes, right? yes, yes. Like, she's a robot at the start of a grocery they store. They want an Australian. Yeah. Here I go. Yes, yes. Maybe she's just Australian. Proud is. thing or two to learn. Wow. Love that accent. Up next, <laughs> she's an admissions Everyone was kind of off point. Florida. Give it up for Julie. Julie. Hi, Nate. I love to travel alone or with company. Pick me and life will be a whirlwind. Here's nothing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Hi, nothing. Nate. No info. I love to travel alone or with company. Pick me and life will be a next whirlwind. Next time, just say you love to travel. Last but not least, she's a personal trainer from Arlington, Virginia. Give a big welcome to Kiki. Kiki. Yeah, he loves Hi, her. Nate. I'm a kid at heart. See? I work hard, but I love amusement oh. parks, Harry Potter, and making people laugh. Pick me, and you'll never grow old. Oh. Whoa. Well, that well, was weird, dude. Three, These, a lot of weird performances here. Can I whisper something a secret? I need to whisper a secret to you. What? And give me your ear like a mouth. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. No, I thought he was gonna be in love with the middle one and then I thought he might not be. Um 
But yeah, I think I think right now he's in a beautiful torment of like the Aussie girl of my dreams versus like the American girl of my dreams. If the girl on the right continues to talk like a child the whole up, that's weird. He's a camp counselor. <clears throat> Fuck. Women very different in their approaches. What's your first impression here? I, I think the Piercing. accent is always like, well, I'll run that back. She's like, women, this isn't normal. No, she's laying it on thick. What's your first impression oh. here? Like, that's devious. That's mischiev mischievous. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I, I think the accent is always pretty sweet. <laughs> but I know that you guys are probably wonderful as well what in your own way. That? So she's in, let's do this. I think she might not. Oh, oh my God. God. These ladies, though, brought a small, medium, and large bag, each hiding a yep. personal secret, otherwise known as their baggage. Of course, the bigger the bag, the bigger the baggage. This way, Nate will know what he's getting into when he chooses one of these women for a date. Ladies, it's time to reveal your smallest piece of baggage. Let's start with Laura. Oh, we call it Joe's. I laugh Joe, like a dolphin. Uh, Joe's Moreland combo. Yeah. Wow. That's, well, how that's many great. times have you heard a dolphin laugh? <laughs> well, I, you know, not many, but I've. I can imagine what it might sound like, and it's a little frightening. She's doing it. Yeah. It's frankly, it's it's embarrassing. <laughs> if you're in public with someone who laughs like a dolphin, Jesus. and it's probably a high pitch. Derka, derka, derka. Ah, I can listen like to Derka, Derka. Uh, laugh like a dolphin. I would really like to hear this laugh. Yeah. Please. Want to say something funny? <laughs> well, uh, it's just a normal okay, laugh. Okay, let's still take a look now at Julie. The pivot area had Here a little dolphin, not laugh the initial, like but really listen like to the laugh pivot. <laughs> well, uh, okay. I don't that know. little. Uh -uh. I don't even know, but I just like that Jerry. I mean, it wasn't gonna be like a Julie. dolphin noise. Like Every time they've moved on from her, right. it's been Jerry completely uninterested. Like yeah. she did the accent, he was just like, "All right, yeah. next," and then he did it here too. To hear you. Uh, Laugh like a dolphin. I would really like to hear this laugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, okay, let's still take a look now at Julie. Who can do their laugh on a spot on the spot? Yeah, it's tough to. I spoon with my dog every Shouldn't night. Have, maybe you love yeah, your dog? Wow. I mean, if, why is this a concern? Occasional dog spoonage is okay with me. Yeah. Jeez. I've dabbled myself. Uh, sp spooning dogs. <laughs> um, I'm okay with an occasional dog spoonage. It's the every night of it that kind of gets me a little. Every night of it kind of gets me. The dog. She she's loves really them. soft. She loves me, and so far she's my longest relationship. Oh. You think you can outdo the? Uh, Dude, I don't think that's bad. Like if Katie goes away for the weekend, or sure. I'm home alone, and and Mac, Maisie doesn't like company. Laying, and Mac lays in bed like, I'll if, and like there's a spot where my. Uh, Arm goes on him. Right. I cuddle with my dog. I slept with really Noodle last it. night. Yeah. Really what of it? Kiki, show us your baggage. Kiki. Yeah. No. Oh. I love to sing, and I'm horrible. <laughs> I, I love a singer. I love a person with the inhibition. A horrible singer? I love a singer. I love a singer. <laughs> yeah, he's in love. If you're His hair that, needs to be different match. up it top. Could be. Yeah. yeah like good. longer he's bald and now. longer and crushed like? over. <laughs> Help. Marshmallow in Help. Yes, I'm in that's love. Very romantic. That, that's very romantic. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nate, you their smallest baggage and hurried okay. explanations. Up next, hey, well, this is a fucking whirlwind. What was that? What do you mean, what was that? She sang a song, a well known and song. And then they showed. <laughs> and then they had panic shots from everyone. Yeah. Yes, and they all fake laughed. Watch this. Very romantic. Wow. <laughs> All right, Nate, you've seen their smallest baggage yeah. and hurried explanations. Up next, here's some laughs. Break around when they I think the one yeah. on the left and the one on the right really got along in the in the green room, like, and then they got like into like a really silly mood together, and then they were like, "Let's just go out there and like compete." I'm kind of a middle guy. It sees what's right now. The other two are being non-human. Whose baggage gets left behind when we come back? She sleeps with their dog. Gross. But every night. Hey, welcome back to baggage. <laughs> <laughs>
if they're off with secrets <laughs> so they can start a new romance. Now, before the hey. break, we saw what was inside uh. the lady's smallest bags. We've got Laura, who laughs like Flipper. <laughs> Julie, who spoons with her pooch every night. And Kiki, the off-key singer. Nate, it's time to prepare yourself for an even bigger piece of baggage. This is the deal breaker round. Now here in front of me are the ladies medium size. Should we guess her back? I think Nate's Cuz I think I know Kiki's. I think Nate's buddy from I think I know Kiki's. Oh, Okay, what is it? I think she ate her childhood dog. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm pretty confident. I don't know if I've seen this or it's just instinctually seeing her. I think she slipped up, she ate her childhood dog. I think it's going to be like people say I'm a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she Okay, what are the other bags again? I don't know. Okay. I was going to say, I think that his buddy's from home. They're like, let's watch Nate's episode. And then they were like, that's Nate? Yeah. Look at you, Nate. Nate. Well, you don't Nate. look like that. Oh, Nate. You Nate. Sing, you sing, Actually, oh, you Nate. Sing you, better, you sing better than her. Nate, you clean up kind of good. You sing better than I her. I know. Okay. You didn't hear that? Well, when I did the whole. What's the follow-up? It was a joke. It was a joke. bags which I'm about to open the bags are placed here at random so you don't know which bag belongs to which la lady always once you face. decide which baggage is her eyes are in non-stop though, then the woman who mode. claims that bag will of course be eliminated all right it's time to reveal I just stare at his hands baggage. all the time bag number one I cry every time okay. I drink Okay, alcohol. so that's the one on the right. That's why her eyes are so watery right now. Maybe. Bag number two. <laughs> I don't reciprocate oral sex. No, okay. <laughs> Bag number three. Middle? I, I know them. Australia. Or all I the way to the right. I don't believe in marriage. Oof. Oof. What are you thinking? Wow, Jake. I think that... I think I know one. Supposedly like an inhibition remover. Yeah. So, basically, this person, every time they drink alcohol... I think I know all They're three. showing their true form, which is to cry. So someone's probably really full of drama, and that's a little, a little scary yeah, for Nader. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, I don't reciprocate. Hockey player from Minnesota. Nader. Sex. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, I'm going to read into that and say, well, this is a person that doesn't maybe want to give back in other areas as well. Maybe isn't willing to to do her share of the dishes or. Oh, no, uh, dude, I think you want some sure topper. That's what you're concerned about, the dishes. <laughs> I don't believe in marriage. <laughs> that's actual problem for me. This or that? I'm sure that's what you're concerned about. This is very serious. Yeah. Yeah. I don't believe in marriage. <laughs> that's actual problem for me. My parents have been married for 38 years, and they have a great marriage. And someday obvious. I'd like to be married, so that is big time trouble. His dad's a nice guy. Which one oh, his of mom's these a sweetheart. Dad's items a nice guy. is in fact mom had the deal baked goods on the counter? Because whichever no matter bag what, you choose, whatever you went over. With that bag, there you go, Nader. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now I have to ask you this. Nate, which one? I don't believe marriage. He's a sweet guy. Yeah, or he goes, he doesn't want to disappoint his the mom, so he's going to say marriage. Is, he can't say that. If he went one. full BJ, that actually be pretty good, but he doesn't have that in him. The person who doesn't believe in marriage. Yeah. yeah. Got to make mom and dad happy. Okay. No, so I think the girl you're scared of, Kiki, is marriage. Really? Yes. I think. I think Australia. I think Aussies marriage. no BJ's. I think there's gonna be like a down under joke. Mm, I think middle is and no. And then B I, I think middle is cries when she drinks. I have cries when you drink on the right. No BJ's in the middle. Don't believe in marriage, Australia. Let's watch the show, Zach. Enough trying to get me in your band, lady. <laughs> <laughs> a little Sandler. A little Sandler. I bet they do a pump fake, though. Oh. 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 What? Oh. 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 I'm 
I'm sorry, Julie. Wow, it's over time two. To pack up and go. Julie. Man, she 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 gave the whole episode. I'd ground. love to hear a reason from Julie. It was uh, her parents' terrible divorce. Mm. The whole thing was very ground. She gave it. She grounded the episode. Kind of. But that means we're about. We're to. about to go crazy. We've got Laura who cries every time she drinks alcohol, and Kiki who doesn't reciprocate oral sex. Ah. So right now. Two episodes in a row. I went well for three. If you'll all join me on the hot seat. I got this one wrong. Right. You went 0 for 3 as well? Marry your dog the then. Where we crank up the heat, our singles just what was that? Two big Did He's he, and he now took Jerry's spot and he felt bad about it. His arm. First, we have uh, Laura here, and when she drinks alcohol, yeah, that hairstyle is bad. For she him. always cries. Yeah. Is that a concern to you? I think when you when you drink, you become more who you are in some ways, and so um, I would, I would be worried. His hands are big. I don't know if you've noticed that. always full of drama. He's bigger oh, than you think. Bad. He's like um, a Minnesota. I mean, I cry, a happy cry. Um, I see something that I like. I get a little bit emotional, expressive. So it's not necessarily always sad. It's not doom and gloom. I actually just get it out. <laughs> Do people cry in Minnesota? No. <laughs> There's no crying in Minnesota. <laughs> no. Emotion is emotion is for the weak. And we have Kiki here, and and, and Kiki is I like him. Is being upfront with you, or yes. Well, at least telling him something ahead of time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's your deal? Like, are you not? <laughs> Are you not willing to give in a re relationship? No, absolutely not. I I may be lazy in bed, but I'll make up for it in other ways. I mean, I expect to be pleased, but you're going to be a happy man. Why, Laura, should Nate choose you and not Kiki? I strive to achieve. Um, I run marathons. I play many an instrument, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dick included. Hi, Kiki. Why you and not her? Yeah. I'm a lot of fun. I also run marathons. Oh, that's not fun. And I can hold my liquor. <laughs> so. It's a, it's a piercing. I'm a lot of fun. Yes. I run marathons. Yes. Those, I mean, you just, that seesaw right there. Just counter. Come on. I know a lot of nice people that... You can be a fun person and run marathons, but you don't use the marathon running as the reason to explain why you're a fun person. Well, she was defending the, the other girl said she ran marathons, so that was her counterpunch. She's like, I run marathons too. That's nothing. And then she said, I'm a drunk at the end? Not verbatim. Not verbatim. She alluded to it. She alluded that she drinks <laughs> a lot. <laughs> uh, what? Who's got the best marathon time? If you two are both. Ah uh, yes. Marathons? Well, we know you don't go all the way. <laughs> well, oh wow. Oh, oh, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Uh, wrong show. I'm dog. just joking. <laughs> he's just joking. He's Gary's kind of always, always like me. Yeah, he's, he's always joking. And Kiki's big bags, and don't forget, Nate's got baggage too. Is he a 33-year-old <laughs> virgin? There's a chance. Did he secretly max out his girlfriend's credit card? No. Yeah, he was buying her a gift. He used the wrong credit card. Or does he live in his parents' garage? Another yes. Good chance. Ah, dude, Minnesota's a tough place to be in a garage. When we come back. If you renovate it, a lot oh, of those. Remember when they had those upstairs? That fully, became a big thing for a while. Fully renovated garage with a loft. Like a sitcom. Extra baggage not revealed in show. Powered by Intellius. Okay. Sharing the bad parts of yourself could be a good way to find your new sweetheart. Now I'm here with Nate, a camp director looking for a new direction in his love life. Uh, Nate is about to love see life. what's inside their biggest bags and make his final decision. Will he oh. choose Laura, the town crier who's an ocean of laps? <laughs> or Kiki, who's a bore <laughs> in bed but fun everywhere else? Ladies, it's time mm. to reveal your biggest piece The way she's of standing makes me think she Laura. spent hours practicing the best way to stand. Mm. I don't want any more children. So, more children, Jerry? There's two there's two so statements what do you there. Say to that? Look at her. Well, That's I a mean, good gift. You mark that down as a good I gift. I don't want any more children. 
So what it's a really good gif. You well, just crop I mean, her head I on lamp. I have had my kids, and they're wonderful kids. And kids. I guess the good thing for Nate is that he gets a woman as well as an instant family. But if wow. he would like to also have children with you, would you deny him that? I don't want any more kids. Oh, standing by it. Got something to think about. All right. Now we go to kids. Kiki. Dude, he, wants so he wants so many kids. He wants so many kids. Camp counselor. She sucks, man. I'm glad you said it. All right. I'm glad you came out and said it. Not into anything. Oh, that was... This was a scary face, Jake. Look, I know she's been doing I a lot of them. I cheated on a boyfriend with his teammate. That's a scary pose. Oh, wait, then she went yeah. eyes out. <gasps> she's, a, she's a Kate McKinnon sketch. Yes. This is Kate McKinnon on Baggage. Baggage. Doing like the... Doing a quirky, awful character. If we made... um. Like real thumbnails, All right? I would freeze frame this and then like crop her out, and and be like, because you're gonna watch whatever that is for a second. I My stomach is upset right now. <laughs> Just Can we pause the show? Close jokes. I think if that's something in your past that you know you've dealt with. That's one thing. Yeah. But if you're the kind of person who wants to pick again, her, well, yeah. What? Because he really what wants kids. The, I was dating the captain of the team. He got injured, so I decided to go with the new star of the team. I'm very competitive. I like uh, to be with the best, God. but I'm very committed. Hmm. What? I mean, okay, they so both Laura, stood by their baggage, which is awesome. Plea now. No I respond. am loyal. Uh, I would see. never do that. I think with me, uh, you can learn lots, and I'm sure that you can teach me a thing or two. I mean, so she's got multiple kids. We don't know how many. He'd be and a great step Kiki, dad, your final But he point. wants more kids. He's actually well, not over, Nate, like, um, his, like, adolescence. One of my specialties as a trainer <laughs> is prenatal and postnatal training. So when I'm having many, many babies that I'm very willing to have, you don't have to worry about pregnancy pounds, and I'll be fit as a fiddle right afterward. He's got, she's got all the wrong agenda. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I mean, strong for baggage. Instead of saying, like, I can birth you kids, right. it was, don't worry, I'll stay in shape while and pregnant. And, and yeah. Pregnancy. Baggage both sides? It's time for you sure to choose. Sure is, Jer. Who's well, he choose? Laura. Kiki. I think he picks Kiki. Yeah, I would pick um, Australian because I don't want to be around Kiki at all. And then he's I just say, like, Kiki, let's right? yeah, he's going to pick Kiki because the kids thing. Because his mom. Let's likes roll the kids. tape. That's like not a joke. Kiki, who loves to <laughs> kind of a horribly, joke. Who won't reciprocate oral sex, <laughs> and cheated on a boyfriend with his teammate. Ew. <laughs> Send one of these ladies <laughs> packing. That was a really late ew in the crowd. <laughs> It's still a little difficult for me to think of hopping right into being a dad. Kiki, the cheating on your boyfriend and your general demeanor is really hard for for me to, to accept. So she just tries to kill you with her eyes. I'm sorry, <laughs> Kiki, but you just have too much baggage. Oh, it's a good gift too. I'm sorry, Kiki. <laughs> It's time to pack up and go. Slam it. Enjoy crying it up with Octa Mom. She might cry, dude. Oh. I think she's getting I think Laura she's like upset. <laughs> Dropped an Octo Mom on us? <laughs> the kids don't even know who that the is. The kids don't know that. How right. old are the Octo Mom kids? Yeah, well, don't get used to it just yet because we still just have search one more Octo Mom open, kids and now. That is Nate. I know how to search. What were you, what were you going to search? Now 2022? Yeah. Can I do that? Yeah. Is he a 33-year-old virgin? Did he secretly max out his girlfriend's cool. credit cool. They're all probably like eight. <laughs> or does he live in his parents' garage? We'll find out when we come back. Whew. Octomom. Dan Rourke doesn't know Octomom. No. He'll Google it. He still won't understand. 
call him after this. Habits and big issues for a chance at new love. He's out there. Data He's out there. Has just yeah. chosen Lori here for a romantic date, but the tables have turned, and now it's Laura's decision. What's the secret in Nate's big? I red think, bag? dude. I think I know what happened. He had like flowy Minnesota hockey hair. He had to cut it for some wedding or like job interview or something. Okay. And he's dying to get it back. And his mom was like, you should get a haircut because See, it's kind of in that in-between area. And he was like, I'd rather <sighs> get to growing it back. Then look proper. I on see the everything show. you're saying. You do. You Thank have you. an optimistic version for Nader. There's a chance this is who he is. No. Like, like there's a chance. Like, his hands? I thought for a little bit he was going to link up with Kiki and he was going to be like, well, I've never gotten a blowjob anyways. So. Okay. I'm All right. good. All right. No, I have him. This is not who he is. I like that dream for you. Is he? For a him. Did you hit it? One of us did. I think I've beat you every time. Virgin. <laughs> you didn't know who did he right. secretly max out his girlfriend's <laughs> credit card? It would have had to been a full blown accident or for that time. Yeah. His parents and she was broke. Laura, of those three <laughs> possibilities, hundred dollar limit. Yeah. Which is the biggest? I money, didn't know how little money she had. had to take her out to a nice dinner. That's tough. Good example. I think the toughest one would be the virgin, definitely. Ooh, a mom and a virgin. That's well, good baggage. Teacher. Yeah, yeah. I am, but perhaps I'm not that good. I mean, that's starting yeah. right at the beginning, yeah? <laughs> well, let's hope that's not the one then, okay? Nate? Fair. Reveal your baggage. It could be. What do you think it is? Above the garage makes a lot of sense. <laughs> See? Wow. There's everything I said, dude, Nate everything I said was wrong. Yeah. Everything I said was wrong. Nate was You Nate. had him as a cool Nate? Minnesota. No, I was being very nice to him. Nate was Nate. Oh, wow. <laughs> Awkward. Nate, uh, is it too cold up there? Yeah. Religious? Well, here's, here's the honest truth. I grew <laughs> up in a conservative Christian family. One of the things you did was not that. So that was back in the day. And just the older I've gotten, I, I kind of held on to that, and I've just decided that that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait. Oh, well, he's petrified of how well, he is very strong he's very scared. And that's to be respected. You have to decide whether it's take a chance on him. You can handle. Nah, she's out. Take I a chance. It's gonna be quite a big thing. I mean, here I am holding the hands of three children, so to speak. Three? Uh, oh, throw two plus him. Because he hasn't. So because she hasn't yeah, had sex that's yeah. That's a really tough one. I'm sorry, Nate. You have too much baggage. Dude, that's brutal for him. I'm sorry, Nate. If, if he chose Kiki, she would have fucked him on the Thank spot. But not blown him. Kiki wants well, to fuck virgins. <laughs> yeah. But we did have a good time. Well, we didn't make a match today, but we did have a good time. Thank everybody who was brave enough to share their secrets. God. Remember, baggage comes in all shapes and sizes. Sometimes Dude, it's he's sometimes right, though. Doesn't. Yeah. Like, I really <laughs> enjoyed that episode. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> oh! I'm kind of surprised that my virginity is what kept me out of the running with this lady. Uh, I don't think it's a, a really bad thing, and, uh, but I guess she knows what she wants, and it's not me. All right, man. So, in hindsight... <laughs> I guess she knows what she wants, and it's not me. In hindsight, are you saying this is bad look for him because he just revealed a <laughs> 33-year-old virgin on TV? Yeah. And then she said, "No, man. Yeah. That's, I mean, he didn't realize that's baggage. He didn't realize it was a big deal. Yeah, yeah. Just like go have sex. No, it's kind of funny. With a willing partner. I was expecting if she said yes, I was expecting that to make me happy. And it was like the mother and the virgin. Yeah, oh, baggage. Yeah, yeah. you were, you were hoping it was the start of a porno skit. Her turning him down made it a better episode. 76 yeah, it years. was honest. 76 years. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually at 77. Oh, get working here. Beat you. Is he here or do we have to call him? I think he's out there. Call him anyway. I was going to call him. Call him anyway. Ask him if he knows who Octomom is. Dan Rourke edits these I episodes. Mean, he doesn't know who Octomom is. There's no way he knows. Yeah, yo. Hmm. 
Ready for the answers. What up, yo? Yo, Jake. Yo, what up, Jake? Yo, what's up, Dan? What up, man? I'm getting a salad with Rob. Nice, dude. What are you getting? Yeah. Um, I don't even know where we're at, but uh, actually, I'm not even. Oh, it's called Cook. Actually, I got some mashed. Today. <laughs> 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 Um, <laughs> hey, I've got a question for you, and then you can. Rob might actually be good for this too. What um okay. do do you know Octo Mom? Octo Mom. Yeah. Hold on, let me put on speaker. Because you may know this too. Octo Mom. Octo Mom. Yeah, sure. The woman who had eight eight kids. Wait, what? <laughs> what about her? Yeah, that was kind of it. We just we were pretty sure Dan wouldn't know. Oh no, I'd never heard of Octo Mom. She had eight of them. Oh yeah, dude. At one time. Oh, yeah. no yeah. way. Wow, she's probably stretched out. <laughs> 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 All right, we'll see. I'll talk I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. All right. That's uh that's uh, to his discretion if he wants to put that in the episode or not. <laughs> uh, I don't think I don't think that can go in. <laughs> no. Thanks for watching the show. Yeah.